Hey guys, uh, this is Benjamin Brooks, and I am so excited to be your um, MA105 pre-calculus upward bound, ooh, that's a lot of things to say, um, instructor. Um, a little bit about me, I have taught four years in the high school level, and the past year I've also been teaching at UAB. Um, and so, you know, I've got a master's degree in mathematics education, so you know, you're in very good hands this semester. And I'm excited to work with you guys because as, you know, getting prepared for college can be um, a little challenging. Um, and math specifically can be very difficult for students to wrap their heads around. But what I'm hoping you guys are striving for is not necessarily perfection, but progress. We're trying to make as much progress as we can. Um, and so what I wanna do in this particular course um, we only have four weeks together. So what I want to do is I want to really give you the essence of um, what you would see in a first year calculus course that would be about 16 weeks for those of you taking calculus and for those of you taking pre-cal, what would be in kind of like a, just some hit topics on not necessarily really MA 105, which I'm going to change that. Uh, which is just algebra, pre-cal algebra, but really MA 107, which encompasses both uh, algebra, pre-calculus, and uh, more trig base, or maybe we'll just stick to the algebra, but I'm looking forward to getting to know you guys um, and meeting you all as we go, um, and so without further ado, I'm going to share my screen, and um, there's a couple of things you should know. All right, so I'm going to kind of try to do this from a student perspective. Uh, you should have received a um, an email invite to your class, and I'm going to use pre-cal as an example, but calculus follow along. These steps are going to be very similar. Um, for pre-cal, you're going to click on join. I've actually already joined this class, and it should eventually take you here. Um, if you haven't used Google Classroom before, uh, it's just basically a place like Blackboard or Canvas or something like that that will allow you to uh, for, allow me to put in assignments, uh, give you guys grades, feedback, work with you, so on and so forth. Um, as you can see, if you look through the stream, it can get pretty messy because um, <laughs> everything looks the same. And as I add more assignments, it's going to get even messier. So what I do is I don't even look at the stream. What I do is I go straight to classwork which is right here and click on classwork and you will see everything that you need. So the first thing we're gonna do, let me get rid of these extra tabs here. The first thing that you're gonna do <clears throat> is you're gonna go up here and this is what all college students do whenever they start a new course, you're gonna be looking at your syllabus. Your syllabus is your roadmap. It's gonna allow you to know exactly what it is that you are expected to do. So you'll have this just a little quick, quick blurb at first, and then you've got classroom expectations, what I expect from you. Things about office hours. In this course, it's asynchronous, which means that uh, we're not gonna have any meetings, Zoom meetings with everybody in at the same time. But um, you can schedule a Zoom meeting with me if you need it uh, for extra help. And of course, work with each other. Um, but also, also, I will be responding to emails. So like, for example, yeah, that's why I put my email at the top. So you can email me specifically if you have any questions, you want me to look at something, you want to turn something in, you want me to grade it and give it back to you. I can do all of that for you. I'm here for you. Also, you can see kind of the topics covered, some just basic things that we're going to be talking about in this particular course. Um, and you can kind of see my sample calendar. This will kind of be fleshed out a little bit more, but you can kind of get a feel for where everything is at that particular point. Okay, so your syllabus is very important. Read it. It is, you know, only a couple of pages. So, all right. <clears throat> the next thing you're going to do is go straight through the general information thing. So as soon as you do that, go ahead and click on that getting to know you Google form. I want to get to know you guys. Um, and hmm, I want to make sure that you have access to it, but it's going to be a real simple Google form. I'm sure you guys use Google forms before. It's not, it's just a survey. It's only five questions long. It's going to be very quick. 
no problem. The next step, which might be even more important, is you're going to create a Delta Math account. This is where you're going to be uploading all of your homework or most of your homework, uh, whatever homework you're not going to be doing by hand. And don't think homework is just like, oh, you know, he's giving us busy work. No, we want to make sure that you're actually practicing. So what you're going to do here is you're going to click on this link to create a Google, uh, uh, a Google account. You're going to either register with your user or register with Google. I think everybody had Gmail accounts. So register with Google is probably going to be your best bet. I'm going to do that here. Boom, I am in. And that is pretty much it. Okay. And then you can automatically see what specific um, these are actually calculus, so let me fix that. But basically, you can see the assignments that you um, are um, for that week. And you can even see the due dates for the assignments. This is very similar to a college co uh, class that they have either, you know, what they call OWL homework or math lab or whatever program they use um, to give you like practice problems and whatnot. What I like about Delta Math, show you a couple of things is first of all, um, you have no penalty for getting a problem wrong because I want you guys to practice and practice and practice until you get it right. But the truth of the matter is, <clears throat> what you can do is you can click on here if you're getting stuck, you can watch a help video that's already been created by the program. Um, and these are very, very helpful actually. Um, also, you can click see solution. You can hit yes, show solution. And then you can kind of look through the solution. Or if you don't want to see the solution, you can just click show an example. Click so show an example and start looking at this particular example and whatnot. And uh, then you can either do next example or go back to the original problem. So these are all things that you can do inside of Delta Math. I love Delta Math so much. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so this is all the general information. You're going to do this first. Try to get that done by the 20th if you can, these three things, which is going to be, uh, well, for you guys, it's going to be uh, Monday uh, evening. All right. So well, <clears throat> after you set all those three things up, what I want you guys to do is take a look at week one. Like I said, I'm still working through this, fleshing this out a little bit more. But basically what you will have is videos that I have created to kind of like give you an idea of what's going on, either going on in the week, or maybe I'll be teaching a lesson or something like that. And I'll post these, I'll try to keep them uh, actually even less than 12 minutes, really try to keep them under 10 minutes. Should be really quick, shouldn't be more than two or three of them. Um, and then the good thing, a little trick about watching these videos is that you can uh, go under settings. Today, what are we talking about? And so you can go under settings and you can speed them. You know, make it 1080, 1080p. And uh, you can speed it up. So like, for example, you could watch me at 2x speed if you want to, which turns a 12-minute video into a six-minute video. But Logarithms. Logarithms are basically the opposite of exponents. Like multiplication and division are opposites, um, basically. Or for some reason, you feel like you need to slow it down. You could, you could make it very, very slow, your playback speed. But, you know, let's, let's leave the playback speed more, maybe a little bit faster than normal, whatever. And you put your playback speed wherever you want it, and you uh, can just start listening. You've got logarithms and exponentials are opposites. So we're gonna and so, for example, in this leather lesson, I talk about logarithms, give you some kind of ideas on how to do things. And sometimes I'll post videos that I make, but also I will post videos that other people create just because sometimes I think somebody did a better job of explaining it than I did. And if I, if I see that, then I will post that instead, but I will be posting my own videos. So you got my videos, you got Delta math videos. Then there's three really kinds of homework, three kinds of homework. I, I keep saying homework, but really this is the work you're going to be working on. This is stuff you're going to be doing throughout the class. First is the Delta math. Like for example, um, the okay all right Let's 
see, let me sign out of let me sign out of this real quick and lock in under this. And sorry guys, just give me one second. All right, let's try it now. Okay. So basically what you're going to do, do is you would see, so for our, your pre-cal class, you're going to see this is our first assignment in pre-calculus. That is 15 problems, five questions in each section, and you're going to answer the questions and whatnot. Real simple. You just click on the link. It'll take you right there. Um, next. Um, is the notes now with the notes the way this works is basically anything that says a theorem on it these are questions that i'm posing where i'm giving you a statement and then i'm giving you an answer and then you're going to explain to me why that is. So like in this particular situation, I have five squared is equal to 25. It can be written as log base five of five, 25 is equal to two. At this point, you have already watched the video. You will have already done your Delta math homework or done a couple of Delta math problems. So now you in your own words are going to go in here and talk about why you think this is true. Now, the good thing about this document is you each get your own individual copy so you can start like typing your own answers if you want to, or, or you can take a piece of paper, write out your answers to various problems, take a picture of it and upload it um, as an assignment. So make sure, yeah, I'm logged in the right thing, so. All right, there's that. And then last but not least, we got this optional Desmos thing. Now it's optional because this thing actually requires, this activity actually requires two people to be working on at the same time. So if you have a buddy who's also taking pre-calculus, you could work on it with them. And these are pretty fun. Um, basically, uh, you, it's, it's like if you've ever played, um, um, what is that board game called? Battleship. If you ever play Battleship, it's basically like Battleship, and it's pretty cool. But that's it. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. I'll be posting a uh, bunch of videos and whatnot um, and different things throughout the week. Um, and just shoot me an email, um, and I'll make sure that those questions get answered. Look forward to working with you guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.